All right, guys, let's play a game of charades. I'm going to go first. You have to guess what I'm doing. All right, ready? All right, here we go. I'm showing up a year late to a trend. Right on brand, baby. You know, over the months, I've seen some one-offs on Twitter and Instagram, these down bad posts, right? But I've never had the good fortune of just diving in and sucking off the teat of sadness that permeates from the pores of these losers that have the misfortune of getting screenshotted and put, in, put on blast for all of us to laugh at on the internet. You know, after a tough day, you just had a go of it and you're not feeling good, it's great to just sit down and log onto the internet and realize there's tons of people out there down way worse than you are. For instance, ladies and gents, I just made out with a girl. It was a Redditor in our chat, and yes, that counts. 11 out of 10, would recommend, would do it again. Wait, in Reddit or real life? In Reddit, she lives away from me, so chat is all we got. <laughs> Listen, I would feel sadder for this dude if we weren't culturally on a fast track to like living life in the metaverse. So this dude right here is ahead of his time. I'm just saying, but it's still early to the point where you're not, you don't want to be bragging about it. If you're making out with your iPad girlfriend, you don't want to be bragging about that just yet. But in five years, you can catch me on the top of the Eiffel Tower in VR, of course, making out with my waifu. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm married, I would never. What brings you on? I want to call people and talk dirty. I can see that you search for normal guy selfies. Oh. On a scale from 1 to 10, I mean, this guy is absolutely a 10 out of 10, just a normal guy, right? Like the like the thinly trimmed beard, just everything about him screams normal, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, right? This girl's probably one of those girls that thinks she's extra quirky. Like, I'm quirky, so I need a quirky dude. So he needs either like, you know, like a, one of these bowl, like nose rings things, or maybe, um, you know, like a couple of cheek piercings or something to show that he's a little bit edgy. One of these girls, you know? But if you do send a selfie right after saying, I want to talk dirty, at least include like some nipple hair or like pull this down, get a little bit of chest hair flowing out of the top of the shirt. That just is not, that's not appealing to anybody, girl, guy, doesn't matter. So are you free at six? Yes, don't mind me asking, but can you send me a mirror pic? I couldn't tell how tall you are from your Tinder. I'm 5'11". Oh no, I'm used to being with taller guys. My old boyfriend could literally carry you around like his little chihuahua. <laughs> Listen, 5'11 is not tall at all. This guy is an absolute squirt. He's not kidding. I, I wouldn't know what it's like to be below six feet. I had a growth spurt when I was like seven and I was taller than all my fucking little league baseball coaches. Uh, couldn't be me being short. Just sounds absolutely awful. Bro is about to become a misogynist. <laughs> Listen, that girl couldn't, she didn't have to do him like that. 5'11's not really that short. Okay, sarcasm aside, that's like a very, I, even an above average height, I might go as far as to say. Gabby, what a hot little name. Same name as my guinea pig actually turns me on a little extra. Okay. I'm giving this dude points for creativity, right? Like, unless he's actually serious. If you're, I don't know the ecosystem because I'm, I'm like a little bit older than when online dating really started to explode, right? Uh, so I never really did it. But I imagine people these days who are swiping left 100,000 times a day, you're in DMs with like a billion different people. It's all about how you come up with the most creative one-liner to catch someone's attention. Because the old shit, like just like smiley face, hey, what's going on? That shit doesn't work anymore. You got to be talking about getting turned on by your guinea pig to just get a reaction out of Janice on Tinder because she's had 300,000 guys text her that she's beautiful. She's just desensitized at this point. But listen, if you're not as creative as our friend here, no worries. You can still succeed on Tinder. You just got to have a nice outfit in your profile picture. Perhaps something from today's video sponsor, Mac Weldon. Let's fucking go! When Mack Weldon reached out to me last year about a potential partnership, I was intrigued, but I was skeptical because I get a lot of emails from brands and I don't want to represent something or someone that I don't like or use personally. So they said, hey, no problem. Pick out some items you like on the website, try them on, wear them around, let us know. So I said, all right, why not? I'll give it a shot and let me tell you, Life-changing decision. Mack Weldon has the most comfortable and efficient daily wear system, and it's not even close. Their products work together with smart design and high-performance fabrics to make it remarkably easy for you to dress for work, leisure, or play, whatever suits your lifestyle. You guys know I work from home and I'm an easy goer, so their Ace sweatshorts and their Pima V-necks have become a literal staple in my daily life. And don't even get me started on their air knit boxer briefs. They practically changed my religion the first time I wore them. Oh, but Leon, I can just get a value pack of three briefs from TJ Maxx for 25. No, shut the hell up. 
You just can't understand it until you try them on for the first time. They are now the only briefs that I wear and I'm a big sweaty dude, so my opinion actually matters. <laughs> and I know you're not me, but I can almost guarantee that they have a fit that will complement and enhance your lifestyle. So upgrade the rest of your summer with the Mack Weldon Daily Wear System and get 20% off your first order by visiting MacWeldon.com slash Leon Lush and using code Leon Lush at checkout. Thank you guys so much for listening. And also, you're welcome. Never forget when Black China tattooed Future's name on her hand, trying to flex that they were dating, and Fuhrer tweeted this five seconds later, single and focusing on what makes me happy. You never know what the Fuhrer's going to do. <laughs> PS5 time schedule. Oh no, bro. This is going to get ugly. Foot rub, 30 minutes of playing time. Back rub, 40 minutes. Cook dinner, you get an hour. No online, though, because you know you drag it on when you're playing with your boys. Take out the trash. One game of 2K only. You shitty anyways. Clean the house equals two hours of playing time. Must take 30 minute break for affection. Bro, I, uh, oh my God. Oh. Unlimited playtime on Sundays only? That's what I'm talking about. Sundays are for the boys. No playtime on holidays, you sick fuck. That's time for the family. If violation of this schedule occurs, your PS5 will be sold to Smart Pawn on Troost. I don't know what the hell that shit is, but holy hell, imagine being married to someone like this. The reason I bought a house that has my office in a detached garage separate from the house is because I can just tell my wife that I'm working and fucking rip League of Legends for like seven hours and no one has a fucking clue. Let's go. Listen, honey, I'd be willing to give this list a shot, but only if you adhere to my list called the online shopping time schedule, where every one hour of online shopping at target.com requires one unsolicited BJ. Marriage gotta be a two-way street. Otherwise, I'm keeping the PS5 and selling you on Smart Pawn on Truce, whatever the fuck that is. I don't expect you to actually have a conversation with me, lots of lettuce. In fact, I literally know I'm not very attractive. I literally just want your opinion on something if that's cool. It's nothing sexual or inappropriate. I mean, that's how I've always opened my cold DMs with girls over the years. <laughs> See what's wrong with that. <laughs> I literally hate my life and I'm literally so unattractive and I can't believe you're literally getting this message from me right now. I promise I literally won't bother you, but I maybe I was creeping on your pictures and accidentally liked one from two and a half years ago, so I feel obligated to literally send you this message. But what do you think about um, Muse? Do you like them as a band? Are you into English um, pop rock? <clears throat> Single Nurse 30 asks China to assign her a boyfriend as a reward for helping Wuhan fight killer coronavirus. Man, just do shit differently over in China, I guess. I don't know. They got assigned boyfriends over there and shit? Like as as rewards for fighting killer viruses? <laughs> I'm intrigued. Listen, I know a lot of dudes from Western culture that would like to be awarded a girlfriend for getting like a victory royale or something. So maybe we should cross culture and things could start working out. The cockapoo doesn't have much going for it. The bird can't fly and can barely walk. To attract females, the male will dig a hole and sit in it, shouting loudly at any female passing by. Rarely does this work, so it waddles off to find a rock and has sex with it. <laughs> To attract females, the male will buy a Red Bull vodka and sit by the bar, shouting loudly at any female passing by. Rarely does this work, so it waddles off to find a hand and has sex with that instead. Typically, it's his own. Text me if anything, I'll be here, babe. Rose emoji. Since you don't like me anymore, sorry I wasn't the one. Good guys always finish last. Oh, I can't even continue. Oh, I know dudes like this. They're the worst. The self-loathing the self -loathing motherfuckers. Like, dude, no, no broad wants a self-loathing, like, loser. Just, like, uh, oh, God. Goodbye. You screenshot to make fun of me with your friend. Thought you was the one. Now you just memory. Tell my mama I love her. Hi, this is Ian's mom. He took his life two minutes ago. Did he mean anything to you? <laughs> First of all, suspicion 100. I love the caption. Oh, no, my son died. Hops on Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> Down posthumously. It's <laughs> for all that comment. Is so good. <laughs> oh, shit. That's just funny as hell. Ian, six feet down. <laughs> oh, man. The internet is undefeated. 
Oh my God, absolutely brutal. Crush just sent this to me the day after I confessed to them. Love you, fuck, wrong person, OMG, lettuce, mayonnaise, onions, no, sorry, OMG, Bo, no, oh my God, so sorry. Can you just imagine the flutter in his soul and his heart when he initially got that notification on his iPhone and it said, love you, from his crush, the day after he confessed to her? Just complete transcendence from the physical world into a moment of pure bliss in what felt like heaven, only to be followed up by an absolute train wreck disaster. And all he could do was muster up a lettuce, mayonnaise, and onions as his soul left his body. Arthur Post, reasons why I hate my life and why my life is worse than yours. 18, no job, never had a girlfriend. Virgin, no first kiss, no girlfriends, not a lot of friends. Poor family, fucked up childhood, bullied someone as a kid, skinny as fuck, white as fuck. Not fit, not good looking, please try and tell me your life is worse than mine. Arthur, I promise you, no matter how bad you think your life is, there's always somebody that has it way worse. And it always comes down to your attitude and your outlook. And let me tell you about a guy. His name's Gary Vaynerchuk. I want you to... <laughs> Arthur, perhaps you've heard of a guy named Darman. I think you could really do well by watching some of his inspirational videos. <laughs> what was me people are the fucking worst. I get it, you're young, but like by 18, like, come on. This is what social media, man, is doing to people. Everyone thinks their life sucks and they fucking try to get a couple of brownie points by posting some dumb shit like this on their stories so they get sympathy from strangers. It's just, it's the saddest shit of all time, man. Take control of your life. Do something about it. Fucking, you're not in shape? Go fucking work out. Look at how fucking sad my life is. Fucking do something about it, dude. To do it like what you think, you think we, you think people on the internet give a fuck like everyone else doesn't have their own problems? Do something about it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Arthur. I know you're 18, buddy. You'll, you'll, you'll grow out of it. You'll grow out of it. Hi, is your name Megan? If yes, well, today is your lucky day. Here you have the chance to possibly meet your soulmate. I had a mystic reading two years ago, and I was told my soulmate's name was Megan. So I took it upon myself to prepare for the future and start the crazy adventure to find her. Disclaimer, larger Megan's need not apply. I was going to say, oh, that's so cute. The, but why is, first of all, why is it fucking under a penguin? Personally, I like my penguins husky as shit. I like them to struggle when they waddle. Just give them. Nice and rotund, right? Nice and rotund, so I can just get under that fucking flap. Warm myself up right under that rotund Megan penguin fur. Unvaccinated sperm available here, cash only. Whoa, whoa, ladies, ladies. Slow down, get in line. He'll get to you eventually, okay? <laughs> Yeesh. I regret breaking up with you. Ex-girlfriend sends very awkward message to her old flame after he wins Olympic bronze in triathlon. I mean, they're... Oh my. It's one thing to be a gold digger, but to be a but to be a bronze digger? If you come to play, you better be playing for gold in my house, bitch! <sighs> Sorry, I have a bit of a competitive streak. Uh, it's been a real problem. Sometimes gets the better of me. I apologize. Probably a lovely couple. I hope they... <clears throat> I hope they... I hope they get back together. <laughs> what the actual f*** do you do when someone you have liked for eight years suddenly likes you back? Question mark times five. Update. Turns out it was some sicko prank designed to fucking ruin me. She planned with some of my not anymore friends. Man, that is evil. Sarcasm aside, though, this isn't that. That's from a post from our teenagers. That is some of the sad. That's some of the saddest shit I've ever read. Teenagers are absolutely vile and ruthless. And I hope my man here. I just, I just want him to bounce back. Him or her, I guess. It didn't say what it was, but you got to use this type of thing as fuel to look inward. And boy, does it sting like a bastard, but you just use it as fuel to somehow better yourself. Go on to, you know, be successful at something, get a hotter girlfriend than she ever was or a hotter boyfriend than he ever could have been. And, you know, the, the type of dudes that do this shit in high school, they do these pranks, the sick old pranks, they always end up being the fucking dumb losers later in life. If I've learned anything as someone who's in my 30s now, it's that most of the people that sucked or were like that were cool and popular in high school that were dicks to like average people fucking turned out to be dog shit later in life right and it was always like the nerdy geeks that ended up getting into this niche that made them like a million dollars they own a company they're super successful so you just gotta wait it's just a time game it's a waiting game their life's gonna suck you're gonna end up going on to do something fantastic would be my guess from what i've seen in my own personal life and while we're on some motivational shit, if you're down bad right now, you're feeling like you're at a place in your life where you just, you've been knocked down so many times and you, you, you're tired of having to lift yourself up. 
It's exhausting. You don't know if you can trek on any longer. Just subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all you gotta do. You won't be down bad any longer. Just hit that sub button, like the video. It's not that difficult. Honestly, if people knew how easy it was to alleviate their problems, it just takes a couple of clicks. That's all. And I do want to thank you as well for joining me here today in this video. It's always so appreciated to have your time for a few minutes uh, every once in a while. And as always, I look forward to the next time you join me in the next video. If you could do me one last favor, stand up out of your chair. Zzz, pull those pants down and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. That would be majestic. And I will be in your debt. I'll see you soon. Peace. Yeah. Yes. Yeah.